Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a bright and happy arrangement. It's perfect for puddle jumping in the rain and brightening those winter days. The flowers I chose to work with, ranunculus in sunshine yellow, festive orange, and then miniature hydrangeas in the chartreuse green. For foliages, several different things, plumosa, Italian ruscus, lily grass, lots of different variety to make it look fabulous. The container, children's rain boots. Yes, I just went to the store, got children's rain boots. These look like little frogs. They're so cute. You can always find these at a number of different stores, and we know how quickly children grow. You may even find them at used stores and still in perfect condition. Inside, a bit of rocks in the toe for weight, and then I nestled in a vase that just fits right down inside, filled it with fresh water, already pre-mixed with flower food, and I'm ready to design. The delicate ranunculus will save for last. We'll start with the sturdy materials, the foliages and the hydrangea. When I work with greens, all the different types, there's so many fabulous things. I try to pick a minimum of three different varieties to add texture, color contrast, and growth formation. It's much more interesting. So the Italian ruscus, cutting it down, removing the lower pieces, and then setting it in. It gives nice drape coming outward. A little bit of the plumosa for softness and texture. Setting it down in. Even leather fern. A lot of people learn to hate leather fern because it's so abundant, but it's absolutely beautiful. The trick when using this is to take a moment, clean off some of the stem. You don't want a great big chunky piece. You want smaller bits and then set it down in so it looks graceful. Repeat that. And then placing the greens in a radial format, just as they would grow in nature, so that it looks all natural. Setting it down in, then coming back to the hydrangea, removing the lower foliage. You don't want that in the water. And giving it a cut and setting it into place. The nest established will support the blooms now as I bring the fragile monoculas up above. And they're so long lasting when they have ample water and the vases inside hold quite a bit. But you want to make sure and keep adding water as the days go by. Because this will last and last and last. Leave the ranunculus tall, letting them tower over the other blossoms because they're so beautiful. Just letting them tuck in. You can do all one color or mix the colors. It's really up to you. For a final touch, a bit of the variegated lily grass to give some movement and some whimsy. It's a little stiff, so use the back side of your knife. Just kind of roll it along and it'll curl like curling ribbon. See how it drapes so beautifully then? You can set it down in. Repeat. Maybe leave some up a little bit taller. Coming out from the same binding point so that it looks like it's part of a plant growing. Rainy days, plants love it. They grow, and then they're ready to stick in your arrangements. Going back even, giving a little love knot, adding a touch of whimsy to the design. Fun and whimsical designs like this almost make me like the rainy days. Keyword being almost. For more creative inspiration to brighten your winter days, check out our website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through the website or by telephone at 503-223-8089. And of course, I love to see what you create. Brighten my day by sending a photo to Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Or share your work across the world with social media and brighten everyone's day by hashtagging Floral Design Institute. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.